Hey family, good morning PS17. Today is Wednesday, March 25th, 2020. If everybody could please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. We're standing tall, we're facing the flag, hands are placed over our hearts. Salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our school mission statement. We are here to be literate, innovative, and proficient scholars who will participate in rich academic learning in a nurturing environment where we will rise. This will be accomplished by creating collaborative and supportive teaching and learning systems involving the entire PS17 community. Okay, everybody, yesterday we started the book, The Sandwich Swap. And remember what good readers do, we, we, before we start the next section of the book, we go back and we remember what we read. So we were introduced to the two characters, the two main characters in the book, Lily and Salma. We know that they did a lot of things together. They jumped rope together. They were really good friends. They had th a lot of things in common. We also were curious about the beginning of the book, remember, because it said, it all started with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and it ended with a hummus sandwich. And we were like, hmm, what does it mean? What started? What is it that started and what is it that ended? Remember we were thinking about that? And then um, we read a part here where they were both having kind of mean thoughts about each other's food and we made a prediction about what would happen. So go back to your prediction from yesterday and we're gonna see if your prediction was correct or not. So remember they're friends. We have Lily and Salma, they're friends. Um, something's going to happen because it's said in the beginning of the story, it started and it ended, right? So we're like, what is it? What is it? So I'm excited to figure out what it is today. So let's keep reading. Then one day, Lily just couldn't hold back those pesky thoughts any longer. Your sandwich looks kind of yucky, she blurted out. Mm. I'm noticing that the author's using words like pesky, yucky, and blurted, and that's making me think that Lily was not acting kind. She was, she was not being a good friend because of those words. Pesky, yucky blurted. Let's keep reading. What did you say? Salma asked, thinking she must have misunderstood her friend. I, I said your sandwich looks yucky. Hmm. Salma frowned. Hmm. At first, I, I wasn't sure why, why Salma said, write this part here. So her friend says, your sandwich looks kind of yucky, she blurted out. What did you say? Salma asked, thinking she must have misunderstood her friend. I said, your sandwich looks yucky. Salma frowned. You know, the first time I read that, when Salma said to her friend, wait, what did you say? I thought that maybe she just didn't hear her friend. But then when I reread that part, I understood that I think Salma said that because she was surprised that her best, best friend would say something that was so unkind. Like, wait a minute, what? Did you really say that? Hmm, let's keep reading. Salma frowned. She looked down at the thin, soft bread and she thought of her beautiful, smiling mother as she carefully cut Salma's sandwich into two neat halves that very morning. Her feelings, her hurt feelings, turned mad. Hmm. I'm getting the sense that this sandwich that Lily is teasing her about or making fun of her about or saying unkind things about, that sandwich, that hummus sandwich, reminds Salma of her home and of how much she loves her mother. Hmm. Let's keep reading. Her hurt feelings turned mad. Yeah, 
Well, well, your sandwich looks kind of gross and it smells bad too, Salma snapped back. Oh, I wonder how Lily's going to react. What is she going to say? Did Salma say something equally unkind just to make Lily feel bad? Like how she is feeling right now? Let's keep reading. Lily looked surprised. She sniffed the thick, squishy bread and she thought of her dad in his silly apron, whistling as he cut Lily's sandwich in two perfect triangles that morning. I'm noticing that the sandwich, the peanut butter sandwich, reminds Lily of just how much her dad loves her, just like Salma's sandwich reminded Salma of how much her mother loves her. Let's keep reading. Lily scowled. It does not smell bad. Does too. Ew, yuck. Ew, gross. Ooh. The, the big idea here is that both girls have hurt feelings and both girls are saying something unkind to their best friend. Mm. Was your prediction correct? Did you predict this? Okay, let's keep reading. We're going to read one more page today. That afternoon, the friends did not draw pictures together. They did not swing together and they did not jump rope together either. Look, this is the first time that the illustrator uses pictures in this way because remember in the first part of the book, all of the illustrations, they were close together. They were doing things together, right? They were sitting next to each other. I'm noticing that the, the author and the illustrator collaborated really hard on this book because now the drawings are showing the girls separated, right? So we use pictures to help us understand the story and deepen our understanding of what's happening just as much as we can use the words sometimes. So I, you know, I understand that these friends are so hurt that they don't spend time together like they normally do. That's what I'm, that's what I'm learning right now. So I want you to think about the parts that we just read. Okay, we read in the beginning from yesterday, we read some things, we reviewed what we had read as readers because that's what good readers do. Now something else happened. And now that you see in the picture that the girls are separated, they're not sitting together anymore, they're not hanging out together anymore, and they both hurt each other's feelings. So I want you to make a prediction about what we're going to read tomorrow. What do you think is going to happen next based on the story and based on what you know about the characters? Okay, I'm really enjoying reading this book with you, everybody. I hope you are enjoying it too. Please feel free to comment. Some of you have been making comments on the YouTube um, channel. I really appreciate that. Um, have an awesome day, everybody. And as always, say it with me. One, two, three. We love you. Mwah.